Hello Aces, welcome to Module 1, Lesson 1, the Profitable Restaurant Owners Academy. Today we're going to be talking about how do you develop the money-making mindset. Let's dive right in. What you'll learn today are the seven money mindsets that will aid you in building a profitable restaurant. These are the mindsets that I've gathered from surveying many, many different successful restaurant owners. And these are the common thread amongst all of them, which I'm sharing with you. So then that way you can start picking these up and learning how to become a successful restaurant owner. Let's dive right in. So the first step is to not overthink it, guys. You don't need all the bells and whistles. You don't need a nice camera. You don't need all the hacks. You don't need a marketing team. You don't need any of those. You just need to follow your gut, follow your intuition, and follow the steps and modules laid out within this whole academy session. Do not overthink it. You don't need anything else to be successful. You have everything in your hands to run a successful restaurant. So. I just want to make sure that you guys understand that and also if you ever see this red line right here there are worksheets that we're supplying to help you guys in terms of uh, as a supporting document so make sure you guys go into the link below and start downloading these worksheets and fill them in accordingly and these are really really useful templates and also worksheets that we have created specifically for you the second money making mindset is don't be a perfectionist guys. So many times I hear people saying that, Hey, you know what? I'm going to delay launching my new dish for another two, three months. I'm going to delay opening because my design's not ready. My team's not ready. All these kind of things that are going on. I totally get it because for our ice cream shop, that's exactly what's happened. My team was telling me that nothing is ready, Wilson. We don't even have a cash register. And which is the reason why we were like, hey, you know what? If we don't have that, it's fine. Use cups. So even till today, after four years, we're still using cups as our cash register. And because of the fact that we opened on that specific day, that I didn't, I wasn't worried that I was not being a perfectionist, that I knew that we need to open in order for us to, to thick fix and tweak as we go on. We actually had two to three different food influencers come in on that first day. Second day, as a result, after they posted it, we had another three to four different influencers. And before you know it, we had lineups out the door every single day. Just imagine if we didn't open up our doors. Just imagine we delayed that. What if they didn't come in? What's going to happen? I really don't know. However, people are going to be okay with you not being perfect because at the end of the day, we are all humans. So don't be a perfectionist. The third money making mindset is to be consistent guys. Whenever we dine out at a restaurant, we always, for example, when, when friends are referring me to a restaurant, they tell me how great the customer service is. They tell me how great the food is and how delicious it is and how tender the beef is. And then I go in and I order the beef dish and it's all <clears throat> old, the quality is bad and the customer is, service is just near to none. And that really leaves a sour taste in my mouth. And that's the reason why I would not go back to that restaurant and it's a poor experience. You have to be consistent, especially in the restaurant industry where word of mouth marketing is one of the most important. And that's the reason why being consistent with not only your food, but also your customer service is essential for your restaurant's success. Case in point, every single McDonald's you go to has the same burger, has the same quality that we can expect. We are never really surprised by anywhere in the world of all the McDonald's we go to. It's the same cheeseburger, guys. And that's part of the reason why they're so successful is the fact that they are consistent. Next up is being adaptive. Guys, especially in today's world, we have to be adaptive. If there's a trend that is coming in and we believe in and we hold on to our old thoughts, we hold on to our own principles without really hearing what our customers are wanting, we can be easily eliminated by time, by the new world. Case in point again is that even these big chain restaurants, they're adapting and adapting into having beyond burger meats because people are not and people are supporting uh, not eating meat anymore. They are more vegan and even they 
have been seeing a tremendous amount of success adapting to this model. So for you, it's the same thing. Being adaptive, working with what your customers are asking for is essential for your restaurant's success. Next up is don't stretch yourself too thin. If you find yourself doing every single operation and every single items within your restaurant, you're in deep, deep trouble. First of all, you're gonna stress out. Second of all, you're gonna burn out eventually. You cannot, you just simply cannot do everything. Just because you're a great cook, just because you're a great manager, doesn't mean you have to be doing that. You can actually, and you should be hiring people to help you out. You should be delegating different tasks and that's the only reason and that's the only way you can run a successful restaurant because you need to focus on your business and working on your business not in your business and when you're working in your business you're putting out fires left right and center next up is don't ever complain and don't be negative guys I hear this so so much that restaurant owners and people that I mentor they come to me they're like hey Wilson you know what customers don't understand me they don't understand the value they're complaining we're too expensive well vice versa have you done everything you could to prevent that from happening taking ownership of that conversation would be something like I have failed to communicate the value that I bring to my customers and therefore they think it is too expensive and therefore I need to do a much better job in my communication to my customers, whether it be marketing, whether it be branding, that's how we can actually spin that conversation around. Us as restauranteurs, us as business owners, we are basically just problem solvers. We are there to provide a solution to our customers and we're there to solve problems every single day and if you don't like solving problems if you have a very pessimistic mindset it becomes very very difficult it's going to be an uphill battle all the way through to actually run a successful restaurant so you definitely need if you're pessimistic to really change that mindset understand we're just there to solve problems and we're going to be it doesn't matter how big you grow it doesn't matter what size you are, you're always gonna be faced with problems every single day. And last but not least, understanding that there are no silver bullet that will solve any of your problem. There are no silver bullet that's gonna have, that's gonna be a magic pill that you swallow and everything's gonna be fine. Everything worth it needs your effort and your time to make it work. So thinking about the fact that, oh, once I get featured on the local newspaper, then I'm gonna be super busy and all the problems will go away and that we're gonna just be super profitable. Mm -mm -mm. That's not gonna work, guys. There are no silver bullets. Make sure we drill that in our head. It is day after day after day, laying foundation after foundation, break after break, that's gonna be able to have us build a very successful and profitable restaurant. So there you guys go, the seven winning mindset. Understand these are the winning mindsets of hundreds of successful restauranteurs out there and that's the common theme that I see and that's what I'm sharing with you guys today. What you have learned is the secret of running a profitable and successful restaurant today, guys. Next up, we're gonna be talking about why values are the key to your success and how do you pick your top five values in your restaurant. I'll see you guys in the next video.